Welcome my friends, Seven Gray here. Thank you for joining me for this episode today. Today, I'm working on the cargo trailer while I'm on hold with my situation with the truck. Let's roll the intro and get into it. This video is sponsored by Renowned Cargo Trailers. In the last episode, I showed you that the police have recovered my Ford truck that was stolen about two weeks ago. Uh, actually, yeah, just exactly two weeks ago. And so they recovered it, and um, I've been talking to a bunch of people. I looked at it, and they say that it's a high possibility that the insurance company is going to total my truck, meaning that they won't repair it, and they will just give me cash for it. The reason for that is because this is a 2001 truck, and most of the parts that were stolen and taken off of it are not available uh, right now on the market. I would have to get used parts and the insurance may or may not be willing to go that route for a repair so they may just total it in that instance then i'm faced with buying another truck then i'm back where i was um, i'm told there's a possibility of a buyback i don't know how that works or what they'll offer there's so many things up in the air i don't know what's going to happen with the truck i'm in a holding pattern until the insurance inspector comes back with a report and the insurance company has a proposal of salvage or repair or whatever they're going to do. So I don't know. Um, I'm holding on to the money so I know which direction to go. And it may be months before I get a settlement with the insurance company. I just don't know at this point. And I will keep you posted here in the videos as things develop. In the meantime, I'm at my friend Becky's house. I parked my cargo trailer in front of it. I'm sleeping inside her house. I'm so grateful for all her help. And yesterday and today, we have been working on the cargo trailer, putting insulation inside, trying to be productive, keep my mind off of things, and be moving forward. I've got all this foam that Doug brought up here, and it's just a big pile of foam and trying to insulate the inside of the trailer. So we're putting two layers of foam in the walls, one that goes in here between the steel studs. So as you can see, yesterday we started into this and we're putting in the insulation in between the steel studs and then after that there's a second layer that goes in over the steel studs to give it an extra inch so that gives a total of two inches here you can see the final product what it looks like this is the second layer there's furring strips going side to side across the steel beams and then the second layer of foam and then i'll put the plywood back on top of this until i get my final finish this is the back door. This is the only section really we've finished other than where the solar stuff goes. Speaking of solar, I'm hooked up again. Power is coming in. I have uh, this morning 26.9 volts and I'm getting uh, 51 volts off the panels. It's still pretty early in the morning, but anyway, it is charging. So uh, here in just a few minutes, we've got the table saw out. We're going to be cutting some more foam to size and we'll hope to finish up the walls on the trailer today. Up here is what we have left. The first layer of foam needs to go all the way around here on this part of the, the trailer and then the second layer on top of that and all of this going back still needs a second layer. You can see I've started filling some of this with the spray expandable foam getting some of the gaps. I have my sun hat on. Becky and I have worked out a great system working together just like super good teamwork i'm inside the trailer mounting all the cut foam and getting it exactly into place and she's got the table saw that's her specialty i am ripping down the foam insulation from the inside so i got the table saw set up and nice. we're going to go becky's background she used to be a high school science teacher so she's very good with numbers and figuring all that kind of stuff out and she has really great skills with her power tools over there. Her garage is really set up amazing. I learned how to use a new power tool today. So I guess these things are called multi-tools and this one has a circular blade on it, which is really, really cool. I'm using it to cut off all of the expandable spray foam that I've sprayed into cracks because it's like all clumped and hanging out. Let me show you how that works. So I've got all this foam that's sticking out over here. You probably can't quite see it right now, but all I do is take this. Becky's over here mounting in a foam. You can see she's measured it on the top and on the bottom. And then I have to cut it in half to make it go below this strap here. 
So she's already on to the next one. You can see how fast she is with this. And I'm in here just trying to keep up and mount these things in. There she goes. Mount these things in by cutting it in and fitting it into the slot before she gets back with the next one. And then when I get a break, I work with this on trimming the foam. So it's moving along. I think we're gonna get the first layer all the rest of the way around right now. All right, you can even see how it's not even parallel. So this is nine and seven eighths. And then you come down here and you're at 10 and three eighths. So that's a little bit of a challenge to, to to rip down because I can't just set the table saw and then just rip it through. I have to actually measure it out. Such are the challenges of working with a cargo trailer. But again, to be fair to renowned cargo trailer, this is a cargo trailer. It's meant to have fiberglass insulation, not the foam board. And it's supposed to be all pre insulated with fiberglass with just plywood over the top and just go. And so it's not an issue for 99.9% .9 of the people that are doing that. It's only if you want to do something like I'm doing that things get a little bit challenging. All right, so the top was nine and seven eighths. So I'm gonna come up here. The bottom was 10 and three eighths. And the trick is to remember these numbers and not forget them by the time <laughs> right. you get over here. Not get distracted. And then what I do is I come in the middle and I split the difference. So nine and seven eighths, 10 and three eighths. So this one's harder one. 10 and an eighth. There you go. Okay, now my job is to go in and cut out the bottom part and then fit this snugly in there, fill any gaps with spray foam and try to keep up with her as she's going through this. You can see how fast she is at cutting these and she's on to the next one. So we're definitely gonna be able to finish doing all of these narrow cuts today for the first layer, which is really what we're trying to accomplish. We are making progress. Have this entire area done. I had to move the mattress over from the front wall where it was. And we're all the way over to the front wall now, starting to put it in. We've got the first one in, we're gonna go across there, and then over the top of the door, one more past the door, and then we are done. I think that's all we're gonna to do today. We're gonna to rip in advance the second layer of foam, and then stop. And the reason we're stopping is it's supposed to hit 98 degrees today in Denver, and that's just a little bit too warm. I'm really thankful though that my solar setup is running, and I borrowed a fan from Becky to keep things a little bit cool in here. Air circulating from the front to the back. Over here is the fan near the door, blowing here, making nice air all the way through to the back. Solar setup here, bringing in the power. I only have two panels out of six hooked up now. I still need to do a video showing the solar panels on the roof, those tilt to the sun, should I choose to do that. But I only have two out of the six hooked up still need to hook up this controller here and that controller there to the other panels but right now honestly i don't even need it it's doing really great current temperature inside is about 82 83 degrees we are making major progress almost done we're down to the last three little pieces becky is now cutting these last three pieces to go two over the door and then one to the right side of the door after that we're just going to rip some sheets in half which will be the second layer. And those sheets will be ready for me to do through the next several days. Uh, today it's the weekend, so Becky's helping me on her time off. She has to go back to work tomorrow. But uh, anyway, super excited about that. Hopefully, crossing my fingers, things are uh, determined this week with the insurance company so that I know the status on the truck. But the trailer, I think, will be ready to pull out of here. Look at that, perfection. Snug as a bug in a rug. Becky is putting in the last piece. Does it fit? All oh, the pressure Tight. <laughs> is on. Boom. Looking good, what do you think? 
I love it. I'm excited, but I, I really am excited to, until we get all the little pieces up. So up at the you. top, we have just these little pieces because these are eight foot boards, eight foot six ceilings. So there's about a five and a half, five and three quarters inch gap around the top. Yeah. So anyway, massive progress. Many, many thanks to Becky. Uh, last week, I think on the weekend, she ripped a whole bunch of two by fours down to make all our furring strips. I didn't shoot any video of that. I was helping her, but felt I needed to keep you the YouTube subscribers up to date and get uh, Becky in some of these videos since she deserves us so much credit for giving me a place to stay, helping rescuing me when my truck was stolen. She was the first person to show up coffee in hand to give me a big hug and consolation and help me work through this stress. I think I called you at like six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, something like it was that. pretty early. Yeah, I woke her up. <laughs> I woke her up in bed, but she's that kind of friend. You know, I felt like, you know, this is an emergency situation is so okay to wake her up. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. That's all I have for today. Savor the moment. I'll see you in a future episode.